not cooperate or arrested and detained. Away from that developing story, now autopsy on the body of a slain Grace Wangare Thuye has revealed she died of excessive bleeding following alleged attack by her boyfriend in Kasarani area Nairobi. The post-mortem on the body was conducted today by government pathologist Peter Ndegwa at City Mortuary. The autopsy report is the latest in a series of attacks in which young women have been killed since the beginning of the year. And as O'Day Francis now reports, the suspect in the murder of Wangare, Clinton Mwangi, is still being held by police. The family of Grace Wangare Thuye is still mourning the loss of their daughter, who was brutally attacked and stabbed to death. The assailant, identified as Clinton Mwanginjeri, is still being held by police. Clinton is said to be her boyfriend. Our quick search on social media revealed that Clinton, who calls himself as Clint on social media on November 21st, 2023, had updated his status, and I quote, I was born for soul-consuming love and obsession. It's all or nothing, end of quote. Grace's body was recovered along Mirema Road in Kasarane with a stab wound. And today, autopsy was conducted on the body of the late Wangare at City Mochari by government pathologist Peter Ndegwa. Results shows Wangare died of excessive bleeding. What you are seeing is um, a major stab wood on the buttock, on the right buttock. And uh, the wood is really penetrating deep, going about 11 centimeters deep. And the problem is reached the femoral blood vessels on the right side and uh, causing bleeding. The wood uh, is, is not uh, the typical stab wood from a very sharp object, but uh, it is still penetrative. I don't know the force that was there. So the cause of death is literally bleeding from that penetrative stab wood on the right buttock. 23-year-old Grace Wangare becomes the eighth woman to be killed under mysterious circumstances in the last two weeks, and the number could be higher. We are seeing a lot of people online making this look like it is women who are uh, putting themselves in danger deliberately, that, thus demean, you know, uh, demeaning the importance and making it look like it is not something that should be looked into. The government silence is also not helping. So if we can be able to stop sensationalizing femicide, that would go a long way in us stopping it. Clinton, the main suspect in the murder of Grace, was arraigned and investigators given two weeks to detain him as the family prepares their daughter for burial in Gatanga. But even as the real cause of her death unfolded, police in Gatundu South on Tuesday reported another incident where a woman's body was found in a thicket with missing breasts. Some suspects of these gruesome killings have been arrested, while others are still at large. In Gesharage area Ruiru, the body of 51-year-old Elizabeth Wanjero was discovered dumped in a shallow stream at Kangogo. Wanjero went missing on her way from delivering milk at a local collection center. Investigations have commenced to establish the cause of her death. Gender activists and human rights defenders have come out strongly to condemn the killings. We're here to condemn these acts in the strongest manner possible. Never again that we have to lose our, our young women in, in the hands of beasts. We condemn this and it should never ever happen again. Now the body of Grace Wangare who was stabbed to death has already been examined and the autopsy has shown that she was stabbed.